the amount of stock trading that's done by members of Congress, the amount of fucking money that they make when they know decisions that are going to be signed and passed, they know laws that are going to be put into place. How is that not insider trading? How is that not illegal? Mm. Insider trading is defined as the illegal practice of trading on the stock exchange to one's own advantage through having access to confidential information. On Wall Street, investors and traders face heavy punishments including big fines or multiple years behind bars. Within Congress, however, the Stock Act is an act of Congress designed to combat insider trading by prohibiting members of Congress from using non-public information for profit. It was signed into law following reports of members of Congress trading stocks during the 2008 financial crisis. You'd think this would garner a similar punishment to Wall Street, but the reality is very different, often just a $200 fine, but one well-known Speaker of the House is now taking center stage for her involvement in some fishy activity. Uh, over the course of your career, has your husband ever made a stock purchase or sale based on information you received from you? No, absolutely not. Nancy Pelosi and her husband Paul have been in the spotlight recently after some suspicious trading activity which has seen the pair beat the S&P 500 performance. Nancy Pelosi has until recently opposed banning stock trading by congressional lawmakers, suggesting it was part of the free market economy. Because this is a free market and people we are a free market economy that should be able to participate in that. Pelosi is one of the richest members of Congress, with an estimated net worth of over $100 million. Nancy and Paul split their time between a townhouse in San Francisco and a condo in Washington, D.C., taking vacations in their Napa Valley vineyard that's publicly known to have cost between $5 and $25 million. Her husband, Paul, runs a VC and investment firm called Financial Leasing Services. Now, it's important to point out that Paul is the one making the trades and investments, as Nancy has often pointed out herself, with a spokesperson suggesting, as you can see from the required disclosures, with which the speaker fully cooperates, these transactions are marked SP for spouse. The speaker has no prior knowledge or subsequent involvement in any transactions. But these spousal transactions often come at suspicious times. Let's look at a few examples. In March 2021, Paul Pelosi bought 25,000 shares of Microsoft worth more than $5 million. Two weeks later, the Army announced a $22 billion contract to buy augmented reality headsets from Microsoft, which boosted the value of the shares. In June 2022, Paul Pelosi bought over a million dollars of semiconductor company NVIDIA shares, exercising 200 call options. Suspicious timing given that the US Department of Commerce suggests that Congress is moving towards voting on the CHIPS Act in an effort to increase domestic semiconductor conductor manufacturing, a bill that would provide $52 billion in subsidies and tax credits for semiconductor manufacturers. In December last year, Paul invested up to a million dollars in Tesla stock, just over a month before Biden issued an executive order that all federal vehicles must transfer to electric. Like there was one recently that we're talking about Nancy Pelosi and the amount of money she invested in Tesla right before Biden signed this EV bill. Over the last 15 years, these big bets on technology companies have reaped serious rewards, earning around $30 million in stock market gains, at times outdoing the S&P 500, like in 2019 and 2020, when it outperformed by 4.9% and 14.3% respectively. According to fine print data, between 2019 and 2021, the Pelosi portfolio grew 96% to $62 million. The success of their investments has even seen the founder of the Wall Street Bets Reddit page, Jamie Rogozinski, has launched his own fund called the Insider Portfolio, which mimics the stock trades of the Pelosi's. As Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi is getting a lot of stick for her potential involvement in these trades. She finds herself stuck in the middle, praising antitrust legislation, suggesting tech companies have too much power one day 
and the next speaking to Tim Cook directly about plans for the future. But the reality is that it's rife throughout Congress, with almost 200 members late in reporting their investments. Josh Gottheimer traded 134 times in Q1 of 2021 alone. Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue were investigated by the feds for insider trading over a year ago. Ron Wyden was caught pushing legislation to help chip makers while his wife bought up large amounts of stock. As some people say, it boggles the mind that Congress, that has access to far more sensitive information at a higher level than Wall Street, isn't subject to the same rules. A Texas Republican, Michael Cloud, is pushing for greater restrictions in Congress, suggesting that they should be held to a higher account. The main question, which remains officially unanswered and yet is still obvious, is whether Congress are indeed privy to information that is not available to the public. The major issue, however, is that much of that information may come in classified briefings around national security, legislation, or tax policy. And whilst there's no smoking gun for Nancy Pelosi and her husband, outperforming the S&P 500 with some suspiciously timed trades sure does smell fishy. Is Nancy Pelosi guilty of insider trading? We'll let you decide in the comments.